Hello there everyone! Welcome and welcome back to another reading, another video. In today's video, we're going to see October prediction. I was kind of blacking out a little bit. Wait, one month? We're going to do October prediction for Jungkook. Let's just go ahead into the cards. Immediately hitting with Throat Chakra and Crown Chakra. Hmm. A lot of portals are open. That's what I'm hearing. Those spirits. Can we take a look into... Can we take a look into energetically in here? What's in store. Let's see this for it's for October 2024. Okay. We have, what did I say? Clarity, because that's what the crown chakra is about. And throughout chakra also, it's all about Ace of Swords energy, right? When um, finally the clarity, the truth is being revealed. So this card is all about, yeah, I do feel like there may be some comparison as of lately. I feel like he might compare himself to many people or a lot of people compare himself um, to some in here. But I do feel like it's it hasn't been the nicest dynamic maybe around September for him. It said, um, the supreme good is like water which benefits all creation without trying to compete with it. I do feel like um, this is about finally the truth is being revealed. And I think this is the energy that is directed towards us more than what he knows, right? So we might, we might be have a bit of a misunderstanding towards what's happened to him in here and i think clarity is arrived right clarity is being shown in here it, it is divine intervention there's nothing that we can do about it this is um yeah with the glow card it said when we follow the towel we draw the world to our steps we can go without fear of being injured because we find peace and tranquility in our heart yeah right this is about minding his own business this is about focusing onto the yeah onto the path onto the journeys that is uh being prepared to him that he knows is the you know is the correct path for him i think he stopped to make people understand right it's more about like i'm, I'm stop um i'll stop describing it to people or i'll stop saying my, my, my side of the story if you already decides i'm the wrong person in here so um this could be about a dynamic that's happening on the inside as well right this could be something that happened internally or um yeah we have powerful in here and that's when you know you are powerful powerful because there is nothing that you do you can say or what people say kind of affect your perception anymore you don't need to prove anything to people so it's said in here when the way rules coach um coach horses fertilize the fields so when the way is lost um, or horses breeds in the park so yeah this is just about the right timing right so so i do feel like he's not yeah he's not waiting anymore in a sense of not also that he he run away or wanting to flee away from some problem or something like that but i think this is just a complete acceptance that it is what it is you know complete acceptance that life sometimes molds you to be a certain way because you have to face a certain things and there's nothing you can do about it. This is acceptance, right? Receptive. I mean, come on. We have receptive in here. The Tao is like an empty container. Infinitely deep. It is the source of all things. Yeah, this is not... Um, I think he's he just wanted to stay away from, from the drama in here. This is um, not... not that it is an, is is isolation energy, but this is more about the high priestess energy, where he's kind of like retreat into the safety of his own world and focusing on his grind, focusing on his work, right? You know, maybe before he tried to help some people or try to get into some business that he thought would be good um, or was the right thing to do. Maybe it is the right thing to do. Um, yeah, but I do feel like he's maybe getting involved into a certain conflict or a dynamic that he don't want to be there to begin with or that's his business to begin with he just wanted to i don't know maybe maybe he feels like at a time it was the right thing to to interfere or it was the right thing to do but maybe something did blow up on yeah blew up onto his, his face as we have the justice cut in reverse in here you know some injustice has been done but i think he's not complaining about it anymore like God, life goes on and i focus on on my thing right now that's that's complete acceptance Maybe many of you also could be relating to this situation right now because again, um, I will keep mentioning it, you know, age of Aquarius, shared consciousness, we are all connected. And yeah, that's why many coincidences, co coincidences um, not so coincidences as of lately, kind of occur many times. So let's see this first. Can we take a look into what's in store? Yeah, we have, yeah, this is the uh, stagnation period is over. So maybe he, he took a bit of a time off to gain some more perspective, to grow, to, to, to see about, yeah, about what's going on. And this card's supposed to come in upright, but that's just kind of, you know, spinning the wheel, right? The wheel of fortune, I do feel like the wheel is spinning, is, is returning right now. I do feel like things are starting to go on his favor. So good times are definitely on the horizon. Let's see more for 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, Four of Cups in reverse, right? He's not denying parts of himself anymore. Like he's not being apologetic about it anymore. I do see a lot of authenticity energy in here. Um, a lot of honesty as well. Yeah, I mean, obviously, of course, of course we have it, right? With the Five of Swords in reverse as well, like he's done. I think, yeah, he's done with this honest association. He's done with, um, you know, some people trying to get into his nerves. He's done trying to play a game that, that he's not even wanting to participate to begin with. And here he's done with, with um, you know, um, in... in Impurity? Is that the word in here? But the opposite of pure. Um, I don't know. But that's what I'm hearing. The opposite of pure in here. Like he's done if people are not being authentic with him, like he's he's just done with it. Like that's what I see in here. Just very, very it's not even passive, right? But it's it's almost kind of he is he's done. <laughs> that's what I'm hearing. He's done. That's what I see. And that also includes, um, and I think the theme in here is mainly going to be about friendship or family members or associations, but that also can be applied to a career or perceptions about career. But yeah, with the, the Four of Cups, right, this is about um, visions, this is about dreams, this is about visions, about dreams, about hopes. The Wheel of Fortune is more about way of living, about luck, about joy, about um, point of views. The Hanged Man is about consciousness, right, the High Priestess is about state of mind, it's about um, the instincts, you know, within the intuition and the tower is about outcome. It's about reactive periods. It's about, yeah, it's about the results, right? So, so I do feel like he's just kind of accepting whatever it is that comes into his way right now. Like, sure, you know, want to throw bridges, want to throw buildings, sure, whatever. That's what I see in here, you know, like do whatever you want. So it's almost like he's um, on this um, like kind of, yeah, kind of like a, a statue. You know, like kind of like a statue, you want to do everything sure or whatever. That's what I see in here. It, no matter how hard life keeps throwing shit into his way, we have the, the Nine of Cups, you know, he's grateful with his life and with, you know, that much gratitude, you're just feeling enough with whatever you have, right? Because you feel grateful about it, because you feel enough already with what you have. Like he's not seeking for more, that's what I see. Um, let's take a deeper look into, um, into career. Yeah, Five of Cups in reverse. So this could be about um, maybe the things that did happen in the past, some sort of failures in here or wrong execution of an idea. But maybe as of lately, something just didn't work out how he wanted it to be. This could be also some loss of money or some time being wasted into certain matter. Um, let's see more. What's the story in here? Um, Queen, okay, I love that. We had the Queen of Wands and the, um, the Knight of Swords. Whatever is being delayed finally is um, going to take place. Um, this could be something... I'm, I'm seeing a rabbit for some reason in my head. I'm seeing a rabbit. Um, I'm also seeing Taurid. Interesting. I'm also seeing Lizard in here. So I do feel like things are finally starting to move. You know, things are starting to progressing. Like he's finally just like, you know what? Like, yeah. I do actually take it personally, <laughs> that kind of a state of mind in here, like, uh, yeah, I do see that he is, the, the authenticity is just speaking loudly in here, authenticity is speaking very, very loudly, so I, I do feel like there might be a, a personal project that he wanted to create or wanted to do, but somehow he got twisted away or disappointed with uh, dishonest associations, you know, something that he wanted to execute correctly somehow is being sabotaged by some people in here and he's just like, you know what, I'm not even gonna do revenge shit or talking bad about it anymore, I'm just gonna do my stuff, I'm, go I'm just gonna focus, right? I'm just gonna focus on, on releasing this expectation for myself and just kind of do my own thing. So is there any like new projects in here on a picture? Yeah, I do feel like it's more about continuing the project rather than a new one because bottom deck we have the project that he's abandoned in, in the past maybe because he had to deal with um, some personal stuff in here. Um, so yeah, like I said, the wheel is like moving in here. Many changes definitely coming into his way. Let's see this first. Can we take a look into love and romance? In here, the chariot. I love that. The chariot is a go, go, go energy. This is when someone activating their movement. So I think when it comes to love life, he is open to whatever it is that is being offered to him being um, thrown away at him we have the seven of swords but i don't think he'll be committed to anyone but he'll be open to the chances of meeting some people in here ace of wands right could be a very interesting conversation could occur so yeah the three of swords i do feel like he's still kind of heal from you know personal 
situationship in here could be the thing about the career kind of get into his head and he just can't focus when it comes to love life when it comes to romantic life and he really wanted to be genuine when it comes to it so he's like i don't want to sabotage any more things in my life i know how it feels and he's looking for the real thing in here he's looking yeah looking for the real deal he's done with um immature shit right he's done with um playing games or people playing games with him he's coked many times probably this year this this uh, this month you know couple of months couple of years and he's like you know um i just want to be surrounded by nice people i you know i, I do feel like that's the motto in here for for uh, for october he wanted to be surrounded by honest genuine people um that could help him grow and he wanted to run away from the people that are not kind of almost wanting to cleanse the entirety of of how he thinks about something how he perceive about something so this could be a very strong message about um, celebration as well with this two cards together queen of pentacles and the sun card so there might be some family member could be just delivering a baby or some graduation could take place um you know celebration not a party right so could party also could be the case but i see more um that he is just kind of grateful to be in this page to be in this era to be in this you know environment he feels there's a genuine gratitude on his heart just feels so very very you know so very healed i think because it has been hard and he i think it kind of occurred to his mind that how could i forgot about the simple little thing you know that you know that i've been so blinded by the light that's what i'm here i've been so blinded by the light blinded by by greed you know that i forgot that this is where i belong right you know surrounded by the family surrounded by the you know honest friends and this uh, association you know i've been so blinded by one thing this i i've been i've become a bit you know um, I've been blinded by the greed. That's what I'm hearing in here. And yeah, the sun card, because the sun card is like joyful card, right? It is successful, joyful card. So he just want to be happy. He just want to be happy. That's what I'm hearing. He just wanted to claim that happiness and he will get it in here in October. I love to see that. Family is a strong word in here and intuition could be the strong word as well. Powerful card, sun and the moon. So uh, I do feel like also there is a direct reflections on direct um, expression and a reflection onto what he feels and how he will be expressing those feelings i do feel like he's accepting it very openly and express the joy very openly as well there is no secrets anymore right like he's done considering look at that right you <laughs> know we got we got the whole cheering up situation so he's just going to be so much happier you know the aura will not going to lie you'll see how how yeah how how glowing he will be so let's see this first can we take a look into some challenges maybe along the way on this um, um around october for him the two of swords um i'm not i don't want to make this card reversal so we have the two of swords and here the challenge could be to make a quick decisions right because like i said uh, we got many towers card also many disconnecting kind of card and and sometimes you don't always know what's the correct thing to do and and i do see in here that um some of the decision could be very like, impact impacting long term or could cost very very expensive very very big very very highly so i think um the, the choices the options and constantly have to make that decision is one thing that he's going to a bit like struggle with and coming clean as accepting the truth in here and yeah accepting the truth openly and without taking it personally and yeah yeah that's what i see let's see one more what are the challenges in here all right we have the ace of wands in here it said breakthrough inspiration new direction yes so to move on from those past um associations or past cycles patterns of living right you know habit every single day and just kind of move on into more honest one you know more pure one more genuine one in here and you know people talk a lot about recovering from addiction and everything you know in forms of um, drugs and and you know something that you can see with eye but people that has been you know something that going through mentally and psychologically that's what not a lot of people talking about people talk about depression a lot but recovering from that you know not a lot of people talking about it and and that's what i see in here almost um yeah maybe he kind of like trapped in in not so great environment for him at a time in here and he's on his way to recover that let's see we have yeah the eight of coins right you know non-stop in here appreciation appreciate appreciation <laughs> we have dedication and achieving goals let's see what are the blessings coming onto his way can we take a look into 
some cards. Ooh, we have the devils in here. So the devil card um, with the eight of coins, I think is a very intense and, and fast success definitely coming into his way. Fast movement energy in here. That's why, oh, that makes sense in here. You know, when suddenly things are very, very, all of your life, a few months, things has been very, very slow. And suddenly things are just kind of quickly worked up. And he's just like, oh my God, many decisions needs to be made. People wanting to sign contract this and that. Like, oh my God, right? Moving forward, embracing change in here. So so to stay sane, I think in, in the midst of that is definitely one of the temptation, you know, one of the thing as well. We have the five of coins and the tower in reverse in here. Yes, you know, so um, th there, there's maybe the biggest, the big blessings in here that he will be witnessing many people that did him wrong kind of going to fall down of a bridge in here that's what i see and i mean not saying to be happy on on other people's suffer suffering or sadness but i truly do see with the knight of cups in here he's going to just like man i love living that kind of energy <laughs> that coming up in here i love that you know like this reading starting very intense in a way that oh my god you know i'm kind of you know seven of swords right you know i'm, I'm a little bit kind of oh you know what's about to happen but i do feel like it's going to be a great great month for him he's just like oh you know karma really is a bitch that's what i'm hearing let's see let's take a look into the outcome plus spirits can we see the outcome for uh, for him this um, october we have curiosity um it said in here um curtis as a guest fluid as a melting eye as a whole as an uncarved block of wood and receptive is a valley yeah that there is no question without answer if you are um, not able to get the answer that means you're asking the wrong question that's what i'm hearing so yeah even though how messed up you are you're always going to go back to how how you are are yeah how you're meant to be anyway we have evolution in here uh, yeah i do feel like there's just a, uh, the outcome is like significant change of, of how he sees certain things and the passion is just on my friend it's said in here um one who is filled with a towel is like a newborn baby its bones are soft its muscles are weak but grip is firm and strong and to not underestimate his own fidelity his own um potentials on doing stuff we have integrity in here to appreciate himself more to give more dedication and um give a lot of appreciation also to himself that's what i see so yeah that's going to be it for the reading if you're looking forward for your monthly reading link in the description you can book a reading with me link in the description have a very nice day and until next time bye